Hello, I'm Father Jim Ken, a conventional Franciscan friar, and here to tell you a little bit about my impressions of a book that was recently published called Pilgrimage, My Search for the Real Pope Francis by Mark K. Shriver, uh, who's one of the Kennedy clan and who had recently written a book about his father, Sergeant Shriver. Um, and the, the word pilgrimage is very well used here because this is a story about a writer who um, reflects upon and learns about the life of the Pope, but then shares with you how it's changed his life and how it's connected to experiences he's had in his life. It goes to the early life of the Pope, especially uh, the formation he had under his grandmother Rosa, who really for the Pope uh, taught him not just the catechism and, and prayed with him, went to Mass with him and prayed the Rosary, but really taught him what it was uh, to be Catholic and to be a faithful person and how to put that faith into action, to go out to people in need, to people on the margins, um, and, and to care for them. And he has done that his whole life long. Uh, Shriver reflects upon how, as a, as a young Jesuit, uh, he was the formator or seminary director of Jesuits, and how he would take them to the margins, how during the, the work week they would have their classrooms and their studies and would play soccer and do everything else, but on the weekends, he'd send them out into the neighborhoods uh, to help share the faith, to visit people, to bless homes, to do whatever, and he always told them they should come back with muddy shoes, meaning they're out with the poor where the poor are. What's interesting, while he sent the students out, he would go tend to the pig pens, and he'd be in his boots way deep in mud, uh, de dealing with all the needs they had, and then he'd come in and pre prepare uh, the evening meal uh, for the students as they returned. And that seems to be a, a, a process the Pope has followed his whole life long. Uh, part of the pilgrimage for Mark Shriver was he went to Argentina to meet with and visit with people who knew the Pope many years ago, uh, former students, uh, priests, and just lay people, and all those stories, how he touched their heart, how he's just so simple, how he's always available, how he always wanted to bring the sacraments to people. How what the Pope said is, sometimes it's just the simple things that matter the most, uh, giving someone a cup of water, giving them a hug or blessing a home. And this pilgrimage is something that allows the reader, as it did for me, to enter into my own pilgrimage and to see how the Pope's story and his witness towards the gospel of Jesus Christ can enrich my life uh, and can help me be a better Catholic, a better Christian, in my case, a better Franciscan. So if you have a chance, I encourage you to give it a read and see how you can go on your own pilgrimage and see what it might have to teach. Thank you.